Hello? Pamela, Pamela, I really need to talk Kim, to you. Kim, is that you? Yes. What's wrong, honey? I don't know what happened. This guy tried to break in. Okay, okay, slow down. Slow down. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, I just, I woke up because there was a loud noise and then, I don't know, there was just this guy and then he grabbed me. <laughs> I'll be right there. Lock your door and don't move until I get there. Okay. It's okay, I'm here. What happened? I was sound asleep and I heard a noise and I went to check it out and then I immediately saw the living room in complete disarray. And then I walked into the kitchen to get something to drink and I saw this light moving around and then he grabbed me. Who grabbed you? I don't know. He put a rag over my face and put me to sleep with something. I just remember waking up back in bed and at first I thought it was one of my bad nightmares until I got up and I looked around so I didn't know what to do. I panicked and I called you. I'm just glad you're safe and he didn't hurt you, but we need to call the police. Do we have to? I haven't noticed anything missing. Can we forget that this happened? I don't want to go through all that. Maybe it was just one of my nightmares. Maybe I knocked everything over. Kim, honey, we can't ignore this. At least let me call my detective friend and see if he can help. Okay, but please just tell him and make sure he keeps it to himself. I would be so embarrassed if there was nothing to this. I promise. Look, it's still only 4 a.m. Why don't you go back to sleep? I'll be here and I'm gonna call Brian first thing in the morning. Okay, thanks sis. I love you. <laughs> Hey Pam, what's up? Oh, I'm over at my sister's apartment and she says she thinks someone broke in last night. What do you mean she thinks? Well, she tends to have nightmares from something that happened to us when we were younger. Her mind plays tricks on her. I was just hoping you could come over and maybe see if anything really did happen. And please, keep it to yourself. Sure, anything for you, Pam. Was your sister injured? No, not physically. It's just she's shaken up and not sure what to believe. I'll be over there within the hour. So much, Brian. I can always depend on you. Okay, text me her address and I'll see you soon. Sounds good. Okay, bye. Thanks again for coming, Brian. Not a problem. This is my sister, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. I'm Detective Stipes. Your sister tells me you had quite an ordeal last night? Yes, I did. At least I think something happened. I'm not sure. Why don't you explain everything to Detective Stipes and then we'll take it from there. You're safe now, Kimberly. Just take your time and tell me everything you remember. Well, like I told my sister, I was sound asleep and I heard a noise and I went to go check it out. And I saw everything in the living room just out of place. So I didn't know what to think. I went into the kitchen to get a drink and to clear my head. And then I saw a light moving around. I think he grabbed me and, and knocked me out. I don't remember much after that. Can you describe him physically? What was he wearing? I don't know. It just happened so fast. He was taller than me, about your height. And it seemed like he was in all black clothes with a ski mask, I think. It's okay, Kim. Just take your time. We're here for you and you're safe now. She's right, Kimberly. We're going to find the guy that did this to you. Thank you. My sister is lucky to have you for a friend. No problem. Have you noticed anything missing? Not that I know of. I'm not sure, though. Well, I'll help you double check. 
In the meantime, Brian, could you please look around and see if you can find anything? Actually, Pamela, it'd be best if the two of you left for a while. I need some space to go over the apartment, dust for prints. I'll see if I can find any signs of forced entry. Of course. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. It's okay, Pam. I know you're only trying to help. Come on, Kim. Let's go grab something to eat and let Detective Stipes do his job. Okay. Thanks again, Detective. And it was nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too, Kimberly. I'll call Pamela and let her know when the two of you can return. Eat your breakfast, honey. It'll make you feel better. Thanks, sis, for always having my back. I'm always here for you. I know Brian's gonna get to the bottom of this, and then I'll be happy to convict the slime ball that did this to you. I hope so. I just can't figure out the reason I was targeted. Was it random? Nothing was stolen, so it doesn't make sense. I'm just glad he didn't hurt you. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> With our family living so far away, it sometimes feels like all we have is each other. I feel the same way. I'm so thankful we've become such close friends now that we're older. You know we didn't always get along when we were younger. Well, with new families like ours, it took some getting used to. Believe me, I wasn't thrilled when my dad married your mom, and I'm sure it was a little awkward for you too, but we were teenagers and it was a new situation. What's important is that we're here for each other now. I appreciate you being here. It means a lot. That's what family's for. Now let's finish up. Brian should be calling soon. You want to see me? Yeah, I got a real mystery on my hands. A friend of mine called and asked me to investigate something that happened to a family member, and it's got me a little stumped. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Tell me all about it. Well, that's just it. And by the way, I'm only telling you because I was supposed to keep this under wraps. I don't want to betray the trust of this good friend or her family member. <laughs> the good friend, friend. Would this friend be that good-looking assistant DA Pamela Tease that you hang out with? You are good. No wonder you're such a good detective. How'd you guess that one? Because I'm a great detective. <laughs> and it was just a hunch. I mean, I figured something like that is special. You want to keep the secret. I told you before, we are just friends. <laughs> friends, okay. Well, if you say, player, why don't you tell me what's going on? Maybe I can help. Well, I got a call early this morning from Pamela, and she told me that someone had broke into her stepsister's apartment and asked me to come check things out. Why didn't he just call the police right away? Apparently, her sister suffers from occasional nightmares and suffers from an overactive imagination and wasn't even sure if anything had happened, so she didn't want to call in a false alarm. Tell me what they told you when you got there. Her sister explained everything that happened, but that's just it, except for some things in disarray, turned over, there was no signs of forced entry, nothing of any importance seemed to be missing. Sounds like a bad dream or the overactive imagination of a young woman living alone. Yeah, I don't know. When I was leaving, I spotted a young man outside that seemed a little suspicious, and he was taking a real interest in what I was doing. You need to find out who he is and if he knows something. You want me to come along? No, no, it's okay. But I'm going to call Pam and let her know that it's okay to bring her sister back to the apartment, and then I'll ask her if she can think of anyone that might have had a motive, or does the guy I saw sound familiar? All right, well, uh, for now, I'll keep this between the two of us, but if there's anything I can do, just let me know, you know? Uh, that's what I'm here for, Brian. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll keep you a post on anything new. Cool. Hi, Kimberly, how are you doing? A lot better, thanks. Just tell us if you have any ideas about what happened. Well, to be honest, I found no signs of force entry, and nothing of any importance seemed to be missing. However, when I was leaving, I did see someone that looked a little suspicious. Suspicious? What did they look like? Maybe I can help. A young Hispanic male, early 20s. He had short hair and a real tough look about him. Does he sound familiar, Kim? Yes. Oh my god, he sounds just like my neighbor's son. Do you know him personally? Have you ever had any problems with him in the past? All I know is that he had been in jail before. For what, I don't know. He got out recently and came to live with his mother, Miss Salvez. He pretty much keeps to himself. How do you know all this? Are you close with this Miss Salvez? Miss Salvez is a sweet lady. She's lived next to me ever since I moved in. Tells me everything good or bad. She said he had got in with the wrong crowd and was paying for his mistakes. He's living with her until he can get back on his feet. This whole thing seems a little odd. There's no sign of a break-in. Nothing of any importance is missing. 
and you weren't harmed. What are you saying, Brian? Are you implying that this could have just been a nightmare or her imagination? Pam, don't get upset with me. I'm just trying to help and do my job. I know. I'm sorry. It's just, this is my little sister and I'm her protector. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I understand, and I'll keep on top of this until we have an answer. My next step is to have a little chat with the neighbor and her son. Thanks, Brian. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get mad at you. I, I'm grateful to have you for a friend. Likewise, Pamela. I'll keep you posted on any developments. Thank you very much, Detective. I'll keep Pamela calm while you do your job. Excuse her. She's been known to be a bit overprotective of me at times. Okay. Hi, I'm Detective Brian Stipes with the police department. Are you Miss Rosa Salvez? Yes, I am. And this is my son, Antonio. What can we do for you? Yeah, what are you doing at our front door, Mr. Detective? Why don't you lose the attitude and I will tell you. Antonio, stop anticipating trouble. Now, how can we help you, Detective Stipes? Yes, maybe we could go in and talk a while. Of course, Detective, right this way. We don't care about talking with you. I was trying to blame us for something. I, I told you that's enough, Antonio. Please, sir, excuse my son. He always thinks the worst about law enforcement. I'm used to it. All I have is some questions about your neighbor. Okay, how can we help you, detective? How well do you know the young lady that lives next door? Oh, quite well. She's been a neighbor now for at least three years, and we talk quite often. Please tell me nothing has happened to that sweet girl. No, she's all right. Just a little shaken up over a recent break-in. I knew it. Let me guess, you're here to blame us because it's not true who else could have done it, right? I never said that. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this and thought maybe someone heard or even saw something. Well, maybe I did see something. Would you even believe me if I told you? Antonio, what are you saying? Do you know what happened? I had got back home pretty late last night and I saw some guy coming out of there. Did you get a good look at him? Not really. It was dark and he was wearing all black. I hid behind a tree because it looked like he was leaving in a hurry. Is this true, Antonio? Why didn't you say anything to me? I don't know what goes on at the neighbor's place and I don't care. I'm not getting involved. That is a good young woman. And it is up to us to look out for our neighbors. I taught you to believe that. I know, but I don't ever see anybody else in this world looking out for us. That is not true and you know it. Please tell the detective anything else that might help. That's all I know. I didn't see anyone or anything else. Thank you for at least telling me that. If I have any further questions, I'll be in touch. Would you mind if I used your bathroom before I left? No, not at all. It is down the hall, right past Antonio's room. Thanks again, and please don't hesitate to call. Hi, Pam. Brian, Kim's diamond necklace was stolen. Are you sure she just didn't misplace it? She can't find it anywhere. How valuable is this necklace? It's a family heirloom, so very valuable. Okay, don't worry. I think this is going to be a real open and shut case. I'm working on new information to obtain a search warrant for the Salvez apartment. In the meantime, the two of you should avoid all contact with them. Got it. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Brian. Hello, detective. What can I do for you this time? Ma'am, I have a search warrant for your apartment. We have new information about the break-in next door. I need to take a look around your residence. Okay. Why are you doing this? My son already told you what he knows. What new information? Ms. Salvez, is your son here? No. He is at an interview today. He was very proud that someone was going to give him a shot at a real job. He wouldn't do this. Now who's that? That's my partner. Miss Salvez, I apologize to you. You seem like a nice lady, but we have to do this. Charles, this is Miss Rosa Salvez. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Not well. This is a mistake. Hey, we should just get started with the search. Yeah, let's get this over with. Go and do what you have to do and get out of my apartment. We're going to find anything. It'll probably be in here. Y'all don't think the little punk is smart enough to get rid of any evidence. Yeah, they're all the same, right? Just as dumb as the next one. I do feel sorry for his mother, though. Yeah, I'm sure she did the best she could, but unfortunately, it doesn't make a difference. Some people just gonna do criminal things. Ah, partner. Ha <laughs> ha. I 
think I got it. I think I got it. Oh. <laughs> ah. Diamond necklace. Yep. You were right. Open this case, baby. I had a feeling about that loser from the start. Sound like that loser walked in just in time for us to put the cuffs on him. What is this? What are you crooked cops up to? And why is my mother crying? I didn't do anything. Shut up, punk. We don't want to hear this. Let's make this easy on everyone. Turn around and put your hands behind oh, your you back. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't do anything. Hey, 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 hey. Stop resisting. Stop resisting, punk. I am so ashamed of you, Antonio. I wanted to believe that you had changed. I took you back in. You've broken my heart. I have changed. I've been trying. I even got that job today. But I've told you, there's no break for people like us. Come on. I don't want to hear any more lies or excuses. Just go. The only lies you're hearing are coming from these two. You mean like when you were younger and you stole from your grandmother? Antonio, those lies? Please, Mom, I swear to you, I'm being framed. Don't let them do this to me. I have nothing left to say to you. Just take him away for his own good. Show's over, punk. All right, let's go. I've heard enough. I told you that getting out today would help take your mind off things. Yeah, thanks for taking me out. I needed the distraction. Let's try on these new clothes. Hey, Brian. Any new news? That's wonderful. Oh, I'm glad you caught the bastard. Yeah, I'll tell Kimberly. Thank you so much, Brian. You're a lifesaver. Okay. Bye. They caught the guy? Believe it or not, it was Antonio Salvez. They found your necklace under his mattress. I told you Brian would figure this out. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I thought for sure my necklace would be gone forever. Well, let's get going. I want to get started on this case right away, so I'll drop you back off at your apartment on my way to the office. Well, another case solved and another one for you to prosecute. You really are building up quite the resume, Miss Teeds. You should be appointed district attorney in no time. Well, I couldn't do it without you, Detective Stipes. We really do make quite the team. No one would ever guess just how much. I must admit, setting up these little crimes is pretty exciting, especially framing losers like that Antonio. <laughs> I think this might have been your best one yet. I know. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. By the way, I need Kim's apartment key back. I'm glad we scared the little twit the way we did. <laughs> I thought you loved your little sister. The only thing I love about that spoiled brat is all the money she will inherit one day. Why do you think my father married her mother? I'm the one that worked my way through law school and all she does is hang out in her apartment and live off of mommy's money. Ah, oh, the truth comes out. Don't worry, I'll keep your little secret. Just as long as you keep me entertained the way you do. <laughs> Speaking of keeping you entertained, all this talk about our little enterprise is turning me on. I do love the way you think. Lead the way, Miss Teeds. fun tonight. After all, we have another busy day tomorrow of keeping the world safe from all the criminals.